Hell going on, everybody. Hell going on, good people. So for any new viewers, I'm Ty. I'm T. And this is Ty TTV, man. So, first off, let us start by saying thank you to everybody for... Over 1K. I can't even say 1K. We over 1K now. We show, we show <laughs> over 1K now. We greatly appreciate y'all, man. Greatly appreciate y'all. So, a video that's been requested a few times now is team driving. Like, how it is team driving. So, we just wanted to touch on that real quick. And we also got two other videos coming out for y'all. Because those have been highly requested too. Which is bagging and just more so about us. So, just a video purely about us. So, those two videos coming as well. But right now, man, we're going to touch on what it's like team driving. That's it, baby. You can start it off. Um. So, I mean, I'm just going to summarize it, I guess. Team driving is cool, especially if you got somebody that you can get along with. Because if you, you don't have anybody you can get along with, y'all are going to be bumping heads daily. But, um, space. You got to learn how to work around small, compact space and know how to work with your space. Um, as long as y'all got an understanding with like driving, like y'all certain amount of miles, y'all good. Um, and communicating. Communicating gonna be one of the biggest things too. Y'all gonna have arguments in there because somebody gonna be, it can be the, I'm hot and he cold. It can be something simple like that. But as long as y'all know how to communicate, y'all gonna work that out. Um, I can't really think of nothing else. And it's not necessarily like a list. Like, of course, everything has, has its good and bad, so y'all just decipher between what y'all might take as good and what y'all might take as bad. But I'm going to start off by saying, team driving not for the week. It's not for the week whatsoever. At all. Sleep schedules. We try to stick to a streak schedule. We try. But Sometimes it get off. It get thrown off. It get thrown off. It, it definitely get thrown off. So, your sleep schedule is going to get thrown off, not only for the simple fact that Loads gonna throw it off. Obviously, like accidents on the road, cause they might throw off y'all time. Like it's, it's so many different variables that can throw it off. But one of the things that's gonna throw it off for sure is how much sleep you actually getting while the truck moves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sleep is really the. It's, I ain't gonna lie, that's one of the big ones. That's the hardest that's really thing. The big one, sleep, real. sleep is the hardest thing. Like, that's what makes team driving difficult, because unlike solo driving. For one, touch on the showers. Cause I remember last time we made this video months ago and somebody said they take showers every day. If you solo driving, it's possible because after you shut down for your 10 hours, nine times out of 10, you at a truck stop. You got 10 hours to do what you want to do, you solo. Baby, team driving, you ain't finna take no shower every day. You not finna take a shower That's every day, team real. driving. That's real, you not taking because no shower every day. Because you want to keep rolling. That's the whole point of team driving. Yeah. You rolling, non-stop, rolling, rolling, rolling. So. Yeah, showers is just not gonna happen. And then the sleep in the truck, if you can't sleep while the truck moving. You might as well just cut it. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just go on, give it up. And most people don't team drive for long. People that do try team drive, they don't do it for long. Unless it's somebody that they are super comfortable with, somebody they got a, a great understanding with, or obviously a couple like us. So, but team driving overall, besides the sleep and you doing stuff when you can and not when you want to yeah team job not that bad anybody can do it you just have to have that mindset and just realize like okay i might not get as much sleep as i'm used to getting i might not be able to take a shower when i want to i might not i might not be able to do all the things that i want to do when i'm solo especially if you started off as a solo driver and then you switch team yeah stuff not gonna always go your way the truck not gonna be set up how you want it to be set up yeah. your stuff might not go Everywhere where you had it where when you were solo Now if you just get in the truck and you get directly in the team drive then it'd be an easy adjustment for you The hardest adjustment for you by far would be Sleeping sharing. while the truck moving <laughs> And sharing, yeah sharing. I'd say sleeping while the truck moving though I'm, I'm just going back off like what you were saying though about what well, of course that one too But a lot of people don't know how to use like I was saying space A lot of people don't know how to use the space that they have and you go from this big space to cutting it in half it's like, okay, there might be a little issue. I don't want your stuff on my side. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you two drive with somebody like that, 
Y'all might want to go on call. Man, because the way this truck be moving and bouncing, baby, your bag might hop to the other side. You just never know. It's terrible. And the, and the sleep quality definitely depends on the truck, too. So, like, the brand of the truck. Like, we got a freight line. This suspension is too stiff. <laughs> so, it makes for a harsher ride. Like, if you in a Kenworth or a Peterbilt, they got softer suspension, so it makes for a smoother ride. So, take that into consideration as well. It's, man, it's, it's so many variables when team driving. It is. It's crazy. But it's not a bad no, thing, I was just though. Say, it's not bad. It's, it's not a bad not thing. It's, it's very doable for long term. 1,000%. As long as you got that mindset, man. For sure, for sure. 1,000%. The best thing about team driving is, like baby kind of touched on already, is just having somebody with you. Like going through everything you go through, rather right is again, like accidents, equipment weather, or just plain seeing the world. Being able to do that with somebody, not only with like another person, obviously, but if you team driving with somebody, like a, a friend or a significant other, like it's a surreal feeling. Like you gonna see stuff you ain't never seen. Y'all probably gonna get a chance to do stuff you ain't never done. So that's by far the, the best thing, for sure, for sure. Yes, I agree. Why the hell I keep saying for sure, for sure? Got that for me. I'll be saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be saying for real, for real. I'll be saying for real, for real. I don't know what you get for sure, for sure. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> by far the worst thing though, sleep quality. We already touched on it, man. That's, that's easily the worst. For me, in my opinion, what you think? Sleep quality. Sleep quality. This is the only issue. Well, that and taking showers. Oh, and for us working out, you can't work out when you want to. You oh, yeah, definitely gotta, working out. You got to kind of fit it in there. And I know you can say you, make, you can make time for it, but like you said, we keep our truck rolling. Them wheels are always rolling. So, and that's the point of team driving. Right. So, if your wheels not constantly rolling while team driving, there's no point of you team driving. Now, it is some people that get into team driving and do what's called, I believe, super solos. So, y'all each drive eight hours. And then y'all stop for eight hours. Well, people do that. I've never heard of it. Because people don't. Not everybody is in the industry for money. I understand that. So, trucking is basically a free way to see the world. Definitely. So some people get into the trucking industry with the intent on just, hey, I want to see the world, and not so much as, let's get this money, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll, let's keep riding. That's not everybody's mindset. So. It all depends on what you get into the industry for. Never heard of you never you heard of super solo? Learn yeah. Learn super solo. Now, correct me if I'm, I'm if correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what super solos is. I know super solos is a thing. I know that for sure. But I, I'm like 70, 80 percent sure that that's what it is. What I said. Each person drive eight hours and then y'all stop eight hours. So, you know, and that's still. Rolling more than a solo person would be rolling. So, so our overall experience of team driving, we've been team driving for going on eight months now. Has it been eight months yet? I'm pretty sure it's, it's going, going on, on eight months. Eight, yeah, like going on eight months. And we've enjoyed, I want to say almost. <laughs> when we was up north now, we didn't enjoy it. Yeah, man. Hey, give me. <laughs> Getting stuck in the snowstorms, nah. that, that wasn't too fun. It's like the initial experience, it's like, wow. Snow. Right. Because <laughs> we from the south. Yeah. So we don't, yeah, we don't see snow like that. And don't really want to see it again, you yeah. know. But them times, like we got, and we made videos on this, it was a time, I think the longest we were stuck when we was in Oregon. Yeah. We were stuck in Oregon for like four days. It was crazy. Three, three or four days. It, it was one of them, but we were stuck for days. Let's just put it like that. And that snow was thick too. Man, and I couldn't imagine being stuck like that by yourself. Exactly. Like, no. That ain't it. That ain't it. That, that ain't it at all. <laughs> that ain't it whatsoever. Other than that though, we pretty much enjoy every aspect of team driving. Like, of course we've enjoyed the money. We've enjoyed seeing the world. That was one of my things. Of course money, but I always wanted to travel. I want to travel and get paid for what I do basically. And that's what you're is. I definitely enjoyed that aspect of it, especially because it's something that I naturally wanted to do. So, I don't really want to see myself going to no more, you know, northern states. I'm fine with that. Keep me down south, you know. But 
and and trying new foods from every well not every state but just about every state with the best yeah. oh, <laughs> we yeah. didn't try we always food. try different foods anytime we in well i say when we sitting in a state yeah when we sit yeah, yeah when we, we sitting in a state because yeah. when we rolling like we said we rolling yeah we be rolling obviously when teaming there's a lot of other factors that come into play but for us we don't know those factors yeah it's <laughs> Uh -oh. it's, it's pretty smooth. It's definitely pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. For anybody out there that has experienced team driving, man, y'all let us know how y'all experiences have been. Was it a good experience? Was it a bad experience? Were you with somebody that you got along with? Was it terrible? <laughs> right. <laughs> Did y'all just bump heads the entire time? Right. Because everything got its ups and downs, like we said. But team driving can definitely, definitely be a great thing for two people. Or a terrible thing for two people. It's what you make it, though. It's it is what you make it. It is what you make it. Don't make it miserable. And like we probably touched on this before in our other video, don't stay in the truck either. Get out. Facts. Get, out. Get some fresh air. Facts. Do something. Get Whatever away from each other. Exactly. Get away from yes. each other. Definitely. What that? That's a good one, baby. That's a good one. Hey, that is a good one. Because <laughs> even though we're a couple, everybody enjoys a little free time a little me time yeah. everybody i don't care who you is i don't yeah. care how clingy you are it's at some point you like let me take these five ten minutes you know just to to breathe be by myself yeah. enjoy a little long time because being cooped up in this truck yeah y'all like these 24 yeah y'all gonna be arguing about shit y'all yep. shouldn't even be arguing about simple stuff man why you leave a water bottle up here you know it's my time to drive why you take your water bottle back to the back from driving you probably hungry by the time you get done driving you just want to go to the back and you just when you want to switch it's like look get your stuff and move so i can go like <laughs> it be the smallest stuff, man. Oh, especially when y'all been rolling for about four five days no yes, stop back to back oh <laughs> like we currently are right now right little do y'all know we are literally in the middle of a load right now like we we switching we, we making a video inside of a video <laughs> yeah but yeah, man, overall, if it's, if team driving is something y'all thinking about doing, I would definitely say try it. Try it. Definitely if you got somebody to do it with and it's not a stranger, try it. Because, man, this is something we had talked about for so long and finally did it. They finally did it and was like, what, boo? We should have been did it. Should have been did it. <laughs> should have been done it, man. Playing. Just playing. Yeah, like I said, man, y'all got any questions? Let us know down in the comments. Y'all let us know y'all experiences down in the comments and everything. And if it's something y'all thinking about or some y'all got other questions about, man, drop them down in the comments. Because like I said, we got them other two videos coming out for y'all. That backing video and just a video just purely about us and how we got into trucking, what we was doing before trucking, all that good stuff, man. Anything you want to add, baby? Mm, if you want to do trucking, just do it. Just do it. Just pull the truck. <laughs> hey, the worst thing. You don't like it, quit. Yeah. Any other job. At least you can say that you tried it. Yeah, you ain't bound to it. Now, wait. Depending on what company you go through, you, you might, might be, be you might be bound to it for about six months to a year. But other than that, hey. <laughs> that is funny. Appreciate everybody for watching. Any new views? Hope you enjoy it. Hope you come back. There you go. Say it right. Looking at me. You looking at me. Oh my God. You will. You will, like baby said. <laughs> hey, to our current subs, our new subs, the people that ain't sub, watch your got video. Special thanks to y'all mm -hmm. for tuning in to yet another legendary video, man. We greatly appreciate y'all, man. Like we said, special thanks for that 1K, man. Mm -hmm. Big milestone. It is. Big, it's only up from here. Big milestone. Hey, know the game. Know the game. Turn on that bell icon so you get notified every time we upload. But you know, every three days, man, you can expect an upload from us. Every, every three time. days. Every three days. Appreciate y'all again, family. Because at this point, y'all are truly family. For real. We not.
So we speechless. They, See, we, we speechless. For real, that's how grateful we are. For real, though, we obviously we're not a big channel. We still a small channel, but we growing fast. And even as we grow, we don't look at y'all as like followers or fans. Like y'all family. Of course, y'all subscribers, but y'all family though. <laughs> family, and that's all we can say. We just we all very very grateful for real. Most definitely. So that being said, hey, do the heart, do the heart, do the heart. <laughs> Which one? You wanna do this heart or this heart? <laughs> no, there we go. There you go. Let's make sure it look right in the camera. Yours is a little tall. Ah, don't do that. Oh, baby. Okay, wait. It's different dimensions, so y'all y'all get the gist. <laughs> hey, we'll catch y'all in our next y'all next video. You say what? In our next video. <laughs> Deuces. Bye. Bye.